Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I wanted to quickly, very quickly, go over my travel essentials, like my makeup travel essentials. I figured this video is perfect timing uh, because in about a week, maybe less than a week, I'm actually traveling to Georgia and I am in the process of packing my travel essentials. So I figured what a better time to kind of show you guys what I consider an essential item that I bring with me every time I travel. Um, I didn't even put on a face today. Granted though, I'm trying to keep my face as clear as possible so we don't have any breakouts before I go on vacation. So uh, <laughs> that's why your girl's barefaced. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so my travel bag that I have been using for the past couple months whenever I go on trips is this one right here. If you watched my latest uh, June favorites video, then you know that this was one of my favorites. This is the Louis Vuitton like trous or truce, I don't know what the hell it's actually called, it's a French word. Essentially it is just a large toiletries bag, but I use it as a cosmetics bag. Let's uh, open her up and I'll show you what I keep on inside. Now the one thing I do love about this bag is it's so large and open, I can just, all the friends are in here. It's like, hey guys, everybody's in here just hanging out. I've been trying to be better at just bringing one or two options of things instead of bringing my entire collection with me. So let's go ahead and get started. I will show you exactly what I have inside of this bag. I'll try to go in order of the ways that I put on items um, just based by how I've got them in this bag. Forgive me if I go out of order a time or two, but that's way I'm going to try to do it. Okay, so what, one of the first items that I'm going to pull out of this bag is my moisturizer. Like I've mentioned more than one time, I always moisturize my face because oil combats oil. If we need to go over that, check out one of my older videos, I explain it. This is the HelloFab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. It's a goodie. So I always have this bad boy with me whenever I travel. The next items will be kind of like my primers. So let me pull these bad guys out of here. The primers that I'm bringing with me, I bring kind of like three essentially. Whoa. The first one is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is the mattifying primer. I'm going to a hot climate, so I want to make sure I definitely have a mattifying primer with me. The next one is my pore minimizing primer, which I have to use every single time I put on a face. Let's just be real. I have huge pores and I have to conceal them. So um, this is should be no shock to anybody at all, but this is the Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Pore Refining Primer. This is the guy that's in the little pot. I've talked about him a lot, guys. If you haven't tried him, you're missing out. And then the last kind of priming item I bring is a lip moisturizer, kind of like a primer thing that I put on whenever I'm getting ready. And it is the Best Damn Beauty Lip Mask. It is this guy. Um, I like that it's kind of a pink tint. If you don't want to put on like a full lip or, you know, whatever, it actually gives you a little bit of color. It's not like this bright pink hue, but it gives a little bit of color and a little bit of sh uh, shine to your lips. So... You don't have to wear a lip if you don't want to, if you've got this baby on. So moving on to foundation. The foundation that I bring with me, I try to bring a travel friendly one because I am flying on an airplane to get there and I'm going to have this in my um, like personal bag. I don't have a carry on for this trip, unfortunately. We're just checking bags and a personal bag. I have to have something that is travel friendly. So when I am traveling, I try to bring as many non-liquid items as possible. So the foundation that I'm bringing with me is this Tarte clay stick foundation. This is one of the newer foundations that I have got and I absolutely adore it. It's just like this. It's just a little stick form. I think he's amazing. Um, and it's in my opinion comparable to the Makeup Forever one which was my favorite stick foundation prior to finding this one. And it's like, I don't know, $15 cheaper which is amazing in my opinion. So this is the foundation we're bringing. As far as concealers go, I can't leave behind my favorite concealer. It's just not going to happen. So I'm bringing the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. For this particular trip, I'm going to be bringing the shade Light. As far as contour goes, I cannot exclude doing my cream contour while I'm on vacation. It's I'm too bougie for that. I'm bringing the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. I love this guy. Love him so much. I do believe I mentioned him in my June favorites as well. And oh my god, I've used so much of it. I don't know if you can see but I'm gonna need a new one soon. You better not run out on me while we're going. Okay, and then obviously with all of those, um, not liquid, but just kind of 
not powder products, <laughs> I'm going to have to set my face. So I'm going to have to use some powder products. So I'm bringing two of those with me. The first of which that I'm going to be using for baking purposes is the RCMA Original No Color Powder. Um, this is one of the newer things that I have also discovered that I love so, so much. He's coming. Come with me. Come on. And then the overall like powder that I'm going to be using to set my entire face is this Your Skin or It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder. I really like this powder. Bought it during an Ulta sale just because I needed a new foundation powder and it was on sale. And I've actually really liked it. The only thing I do not love is how huge this packaging is. It's not very travel friendly. But unfortunately, it is the only powder foundation that I have, so it has to find room within my bag. Next up is bronzer. Now, I kind of pick the rest of my items based off of how travel-friendly they are, options... Uh, things of that nature and it'll make more sense as I go along. So the bronzer that I'm bringing with me is the NARS Laguna bronzer. Now I am running low on this guy but I do believe we'll be just fine to get through vacation. But one of the main reasons that I'm actually bringing this particular bronzer, other than the fact that I love it, is how thin and like skinny it is. Like this is very travel friendly. I can easily slide it down into this bag and it doesn't take up a lot of space. The next item that I'm bringing is obviously blush and the one that I have decided to pick is another one that I believe is in my June favorites. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in the shade Peachy Love. It is this guy right here. The one thing that really led me to choosing this one over the other blushes that I have is I have options. I am a big fan of having options whenever I'm getting ready and the fact that I have three different blushes that I can choose from is really intriguing to me. And it's in this fairly small compact. It's not the tiniest thing I've ever seen, but it's more travel friendly than the other multiple color blush options that I have. So that's why this guy is coming with me. So this is my like under eye setting and contour powders. These are them. I just have them in this um, BoxyCharm Z palette. And this is MAC Shadester. This is MAC Pro Emphasize. And this is Ofra... I think just like their banana powder. So I use those to set and contour my face and once again I really like it because this Z palette is super small, pretty slender, and it can easily slide down into my bag. Next thing as far as highlights go, once again I chose this because it's a pretty slender package and I have lots of options. So the highlighter that I am bringing with me is the Anastasia and ne uh, Nicole Guerrero uh, collaboration glow kit and I love I have six different options here that I can choose from for any type of glow that I am feeling and like I said this guy is pretty darn slender and it just easily slides down into the big pocket in this bag and we are good to go so love that and I can beam from the gods with any color that I could ever freaking want Next is my eyeshadow palette. Now this is probably the hardest item for me to pick of what I'm going to bring with me on vacation because I love having options. I love being able to make different looks and not having to wear the same thing every day. I am actually one of those people who actually takes the time to get ready while we're on vacation. So this is a difficult one for me to pick every year. But this year I've decided to bring with me the Tartlet in Bloom palette by Tarte. And this is what he looks like. It's been pretty used and abused, but this is a really great palette. It's got a ton of neutral colors, some shimmers, some dark colors that I can make a smoky eye or things of that nature. So I really enjoy this palette and I figured it would work great. And it also has a huge, dirty, but huge mirror in case I run out of mirror space because I am sharing the hotel room with three other people. I'm excited. So moving on to brows, I've kind of jumbled my bag around. I know everything's just laying in the bottom instead of nice and neat and packed like I had it. As far as brow products go, I try to bring as few as possible because when I'm at home, I just kind of go wild with the brow products. I'll use like five different ones just because I have them right here in my little acrylic case and I can. So when I'm on vacation, I try to keep it minimal. The first thing that I have with me is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. This one is in the shade Blondie Brows. Then I go in with this Kat Von D Tattoo Brow. The name is literally rubbing off on it. I use it so much. This is in, I don't know, I rubbed off the shade name. I'm assuming it's like a taupe or something of that nature, definitely for blonde hairs. But that's what I use, her Tattoo Brow. And then to carve my brows, I just use the 
uh, Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. I am <laughs> running a little low, which is actually kind of great because it makes it super travel friendly with how thin it is. Then the next thing that I use to kind of finish off my brows is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I use the travel size because it is obviously travel friendly and it saves me space on my back. Then as far as liners go, I like to have a few different options because I do find that whenever I am here, I am grabbing different types of eyeliners to create a certain look that I want. So I wanted to make sure that I had options available for me to do just that. The first eyeliner that I'm bringing is just this Clinique uh, Quick Liner. It's in the shade Intense Ebony. Really? I thought this was black. Oh, Ebony is black. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> um, I really like this one because it comes with a smudger on the end, so if I wanted to do more of like a smoky uh, liner or what have you, I can do that, so I really like that option. I'm also bringing a um, favorite liquid eyeliner of all time, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. I just, I love this guy. I really can't travel without it, and it really helps me get that super cut wing, which I love. And then the last eyeliner that I'm bringing with me is this Pure, or Pur? Pure. I think it's pure. Cosmetics On Point Liquid Eyeliner in the shade VIP, I think. I'm not sure. It's a black eyeliner that dries down matte, which I really, really love that look. So I wanted to make sure I brought this guy with me. So as far as mascara goes, I only bring two options with me. I know. Insane, right? Only two. And the first of which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Once again, I am bringing a travel size version because hello, save space. And then the other one I'm bringing is my lower lash mascara, the MAC Extended Play Lash. I, like I said, I love this one to coat my lower lashes, and whenever I apply my false lashes, I go in with this one to blend them all together. Speaking of lashes, I usually just bring one pair, maybe two, I might actually throw in another pair, of just really tried and true lashes that I know will work, and I'm not going to have to worry about cutting them or what have you. Like, I have my lashes prepared before I go on vacation. So the one pair that I know for a fact I'm bringing because I love these lashes and I can't go without them are the Huda, Huda, Huda Beauty Sasha number 11 lash. Uh, you can't really tell because it's black in here and the lashes are black, but that's the lash that I always like to have with me because it's just, it's super pretty, it's very voluminous, so it's definitely great for a night out or a nice dinner or things of that nature because I'm going to tell you during the day on vacation, it's this, it's this all the way. So, watch out Georgia. This is coming for you. To apply the lashes, I obviously have to have lash glue with me. And the lash glue that I bring is the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. I just get the white or clear version and I can just shing, 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 brush it on my lashes, glue them on and call it a day. Okay, so next up is lip liners. We cannot forget the lips. I am only bringing two lip liners with me. They're both in the nude category because I'm really not going to go out of my comfort zone and wear like a bright lip or anything like that because I know nudes are, they're my tried and true and I know I can make them look good with any look that I want to wear. So the first one that I'm bringing, should also not be a shock because they were some of my June favorites, is MAC Sore Lip Liner. And then the other one that I'm bringing is just a little more brown nude than the MAC Sore one is, is the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani collab in the shade Ex-Girlfriend. Like I said, it's a little bit more brown nude, so it'll give me kind of the more pinky nude option and the more brown nude option. Okay, so last but not least are my lip options that I have in my bag. The first option that I am bringing with me is just a traditional lipstick and it is the Maybelline matte lipstick in the shade beige babe this guy right here I love this lipstick I have used and abused it and it's just a really great option for multiple looks so that's the traditional lipstick that I'm bringing the next lipstick liquid lipstick that I'm bringing is the Kylie Cosmetics and KKW collab in the shade Kiki. This is my favorite shade out of the entire collab, so I wanted to make sure that I had it with me. I really like how this looks like a gloss, but it also feels like a regular lipstick. I really, really enjoy this formula, and I wanted to make sure I brought one of these with me. Then as far as glosses go, I have two different options that I'm bringing with me. The first of which is this Buxom gloss right here. It is the Full On Lip Cream. So this is the gloss that kind of is plumping and leaves that cooling effect to your lips. This one is in the shade White Russian, and it is by far my favorite gloss 
from this line. The last gloss that I am bringing with me is just kind of um, one to provide a little bit of color if I don't actually want to wear a full lip. So this is NARS Lip Gloss in the shade Chelsea Girls. It's a very pigmented gloss that you could wear over a lip if you wanted to, but I also wanted to have the option of not feeling obligated to wear a lip but still have a little bit of color on my lips so I wanted to make sure I brought this guy with me. And then the final final thing that I am bringing with me is a setting spray. Now I cannot pack it in this bag because the one that I want to bring is too big. Even though it's technically not a liquid I'm not about to get into an argument with TSA. I feel like I have a hard enough time getting through TSA as it is. So the setting spray that I am bringing with me is the Morphe Prep and Set setting spray. I love this setting spray. I think it'll be perfect for being down on the beach and in that type of weather. So this is the one that I'm bringing, but like I said, I cannot put it in my actual makeup bag. It's gonna have to go in my check bag because clearly it's way too big. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So I just wanted to make sure that I included that so you guys didn't think I was a crazy person and wasn't actually bringing a setting spray because Hello, your girl's got a set her face. Okay guys, so that was it. That's my entire makeup essentials that I bring with me while I'm on vacation. I know to some that might seem like, holy cow, you're bringing everything ever. And then to some people that's like, wow, you're not bringing anything at all. And that's kind of how I feel. It's like, I'm not bringing anything at all, kind of. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you do enjoy videos like this, it's kind of the first one of this kind that I'm putting up on my channel. I'm a nosy person. I like to see what other people bring with them. You know, it's just, it's fun. So if you're nosy too, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your vacation essential. I would love to know what it is and I may even include it in my essentials. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell icon beside that so you get a notification every time I upload. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.